okay you guys welcome back thanks for coming back to my channel if you're new here thank you so much i really appreciate you stopping in and i hope if you like the content here if you like what you see and if you learn anything on my channel with this video today that you're watching for the first time i hope if you like it you will hit the like smash the like button that'll help out my channel tremendously and i hope that you will consider subscribing if you're already a subscriber or a client of mine thank you so much i appreciate your support and if you could hit the like button smash it for me that helps out my channel greatly and you're already a supporter of mine by being a client so thank you so much so here you guys i've already previously cut this mannequin it's a pixie mullet what they're calling a pixie mullet now that's kind of a a term that i've just been seeing out here so i'm gonna go with it and it basically mean a pixie but it's kind of just a little longer and fuller in the back pretty much you could almost consider it almost like a kelly cut almost but they're calling it a pixie mullet so i'm gonna run with that so you know with hair and you know in this industry things are always changing um hairstyles are always being renamed and all of that so i just run with it just to keep it going so anyway i already cut it previously the mannequin but i did i did tweak the cut just a little bit just freshen up the cut just a little bit so all i'm doing now is just putting some some almost like roller set curls that say for instance if you got a roller set and you come from under the dryer after sitting under there an hour and a half, two hours. Kind of almost that look where it's just, you know, curls. Just basic roller set looking curls. So that's all I'm doing. And then I'm just, for those, I'm uh, where I'm at now, these curls, I'm kind of slanting them a little bit. Slanting them to the front. Just a little bit. Now, one thing about this mannequin, the hair is straight. It's not a kinky texture like some of my mannequins are. But this mannequin has some super thick hair. So it has this, this girlfriend right here, this sister girl right here. She has some super thick hair. So trust and believe. So now I'm just starting like in the crown of the head. This is really the front area, the crown fringe area but right here i'm in the crown of the head and so i'm just continuing to do like i said roller set curls almost just see what i'm saying like barrel curls and so um that's all i'm doing i'm taking some you know forward some backwards um no really no rhyme or reason here i'm just tossing these curls everywhere and like I said, you can see how the curls almost look like roller set curls almost. So just curls, curls, curls. And the products that I'm using on this, this sister right here, this sister girl, is Kenra. I, I didn't used to use Kenra when I had my storefront. There was a male hairstylist that used a lot of Kenra products when he worked at my salon. But I really wasn't into them. I hadn't used them as of yet. But I really love the Kenra. I like their um, serum. I even like their packaging. I like their branding. I like the the silver. You know, they use silver with everything. Like all of their containers and bottles and spray bottles. All of that shiny mirror looking silver. I love it. I love their branding. Their packaging. And then what else I love about Kenra is... Their stuff is really light, and then their stuff has a light, their products have a light, their merch, a merchandise has like a, a light fragrance to them. It's not overpowering or anything. I also like their hairsprays, like they have a variety, a plethora, a variety of hairsprays. Just all kind. Like if you want the firm hold, see that's the serum bottle. Look how beautiful the bottle is. I mean, really? I feel like I am somebody when I pull out that serum bottle, Ken Kenra. 
so I love their packaging. I love their branding. I'm not, you know, I'm not one of the spokespeople or anything like a brand ambassador or nothing like that. I just love their products. Professional products. You have to have a license to get their products. And I love their products. They have so many different type of sprays, like hairsprays. If you want a soft hole, if you want a firm hole, if you want a this type of hole, or if you want a that type of hold, I just love it. So you saw me spraying and using a serum. So all I'm doing now, I tend to like to use the end of the comb when I'm combing out, as you saw me doing. This right here is a, a rake comb, so it just kind of rakes out the curl, and here I am with the pick. I just like, I don't know why, I, I guess, I just like using this, this the end of a, a metal rat tail comb because it pretty much, is, it just moves the curls around. It doesn't really, you know, uh, take the curl pattern out of the hair. It just kind of moves them around. It moves the curls around. And see, you see why it's called like a pixie mullet because you see how much fuller in the back the hair is you see it's fuller it's longer and so uh normally you know with a pixie cut the back is going to be like tighter to the nape closer to the nape area but with the pixie mullet it's fuller in the back and the kelly cut you know is more kind of tapered on the sides and back but the kelly cut can have like a long tail. Kelly cut look more like a mohawkish kind of thing, like a faux hawk almost. But this pixie mullet kind of is just where it's just longer in the back. Now with these curls, I put so many curls in the top of the head and the crown up there. So I'm just pulling them out, kind of moving them around, seeing where I want them to be. And so that's the whole thing. When you put curls in hair and you start combing the curls out. So see, you see me using the ends of that, but you see, I'm not going to like that. So I go back to my metal tip. So just trying to make sure you, you paying attention to what I'm doing. I didn't like that rake there. So I'm using my camera again as serum. And so all I'm doing is just moving the curls around, basically just placing them. I'm just smoothing this and making sure I work this serum, this Kenra serum, through this mannequin's hair, this sister girl hair. This sister got some thick hair, Lord Jesus. I'm in here, I'm working for sure. I'ma see if she gonna tip me now. So I can go to Starbucks in the Marantine. But again, this girl got a lot of hair. And it's super, super thick. And so instead of just making a whole bunch of thin sections and putting like a ton of curls in there, which would have been what hap would have happened because her hair is so thick. So I just put, you know, I took bigger sections in the top and I just put bigger curls. And so now, usually when I'm doing my final styling and my final tweaking, that's when I usually put the spray on when I'm tweaking. So I'm just tweaking and like I said, you know, usually for me, every stylist is different. I don't know what other stylists do for, but for me, when I'm doing that final little tweaking, I like to put a little bit of spray, holding spray in the hair. And as I said, I prefer using Kenra. And the reason for me that I do that, because for me, whenever I put that, that spray in there, it seems like it kind of it kind of holds the hair in place where you put it. This is the final pixie mullet look. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.